the first thing you'll need to do in order to get a chatterbox submachine gun is to get at least four hyena faction keys from the underground tunnels. You can see the key boxes on the walls of the tunnels, but the type of faction key you get from each key box is random. But it shouldn't take too long to farm a decent amount of keys for all the faction chests, so uh, here are my three favorite places to find the keys. The first tunnel I like to visit is in the very northwest section of the West Potomac Park region. The quickest way to get to the tunnel is by fast traveling to the taxi graveyard control point. If you can't fast travel to the control point, you can fast travel to the Roosevelt Island stronghold and make your way to the tunnel from there. You should be able to find at least five key boxes or so in this tunnel system. The second tunnel I go to is also in the West Potomac Park region. You can get there fairly quickly by fast traveling to the shop's safe house and then traveling west to the tunnel entrance from there. You should be able to find another five keys or so here. The last tunnel I like to visit is in the west side of the Constitution Hall region. The quickest way to get there is to just fast travel to the Ivy Tunnel control point. The entrance to the tunnel is through the door that is directly across the street from the control point's supply room. If the Ivy Tunnel control point is not available, you can travel northwest from the archive safe house. It's not a bad idea to run these three tunnels every once in a while to keep your stock of faction keys up. If you're looking for even more tunnels with faction keys in them, there's a really good reddit post about the tunnel locations. I'll put a link in the description of this video. If you're having a hard time spotting the key boxes on the wall, you can offer a regional control point some supplies. This will highlight the boxes if you have the Detection 1 perk unlocked. After you get at least 4 Hyena Faction Keys, you can start heading towards the Hyena Loot Crates. The first place you should head to is the Grand Washington Hotel. About halfway through the mission, you'll come to this hallway. Go into the small room on the left and turn the corner on your right and go into the bathroom. You'll find the first Hyena Loot Crate on the floor of the bathroom by the sink, and you should find a red SMG component in it. If the SMG component isn't in there, continue on with the mission. You'll find a second chest towards the end of the mission. It should be in there if it wasn't in the first chest. The second place you'll need to go is the Jefferson Trade Center, and if you just want to run through any of these missions to get the chests, uh, feel free to solo it on story difficulty, but if you want to be a real team player, you can matchmake and open the chests for other players as well. Um, and this applies to any of the missions that we're doing here. Um, anyway, towards the end of the mission, you'll come across a loading dock in the parking garage with two white trucks in it. Behind the trucks you'll find another hyena chest that should have a red SMG component in it. The next place you'll need to go to is the police station, which isn't actually a mission. Uh, you can get there quickly by fast traveling to the Dark Zone East Bravo checkpoint and heading directly west. Enter the police station, take a right, and head down the flight of stairs. Take another right at the bottom of the stairs, and you'll find another hyena chest that should have another exotic SMG component in it. The last place on the list is the bank headquarters mission. It won't take you long before you come across an enemy with a shield named Rebound. Once you kill him, he'll drop a vault encryption key. Pick it up and head into the next room. You'll find a white horizontal panel that can be opened if you get close enough to it. In it, you'll find the RFID card, the RFID card. Take it and continue with the mission. Once you open the large vault door, take an immediate left and enter the locked and gated room where you'll find the last hyena chest. If you've gotten all the SMG components up to this point, you'll find the chatterbox blueprint inside as well as some peripheral items. If any of the hyena chests didn't have an exotic SMG component in them, it's possible you may have already picked that item up, so make sure to check what materials you have in your inventory. If you don't already have the item, you may just have to wait for the next day to check the chest or chests again. I personally got all the chatterbox components on my first playthrough, so 
hopefully you'll have good luck as well. Once you have the Chatterbox Blueprint, all that's left for you to do is craft it. Go to the crafting table at the base of operations and you'll find the Chatterbox is there and ready for you to craft. Aside from the exotic components you already got, it will require 30 polycarbonate, 22 titanium, and 69 receiver components to craft. And that's it. If you're interested in my review of the exotic Chatterbox submachine gun, click on the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. In the review we go over the stats and talents of the Chatterbox, so uh, check that out if you're interested. Anyway, I hope that you found this walkthrough useful, and if you like my content, even just a little, <laughs> please consider subscribing to the Havoc Gaming channel, that would help me out tremendously. Thanks for watching, and Godspeed.